what had happened was, was that um, there was a certain segment of the population in northern Africa which started becoming very warlike, losing its way with Mother Nature, losing its connection and responsibility. Remember, custodians of the land, responsibility to Mother Earth. This small, this particular population in northern Africa started acting very warlike, troublesome. They um, lost their way. They began to experiment on themselves, mutilate themselves to the point where they bled all of the color right out of their skin. No more color, they became the pale skins, what you now know as Caucasian. They became so warlike and such a big problem that the rest of the, the Moorish people got together and was like, what the hell are we gonna do with these guys? You know, They just won't stop, they're gonna overtake everything and destroy us. So they decided to banish them. This is where you get the concept of being banished from the Garden of Eden, okay? They decided to banish them, and by banishing them, they had to pick a spot to stick them. Well, there's only one, con one continent on the planet that doesn't start with the letter A, and that's Europe. It's in the name, your rope. Rope, you hung yourself, okay? Europe is named after the African Queen Europa. Europe was a dead wasteland, and it was used as a transcontinental prison to dump all the assholes who were causing the problem, namely the pale skins. So what happened was they cast it out of Africa because they couldn't stay there anymore anyway. They had burned all the color out of their skin. No more melanin. You can't sit in the sun anymore. I burn like a lobster when I go to the beach. So they had to get out of there anyway for health reasons. So there were several reasons. One, they were no longer part of the family of men. Two, they were pale skin. They couldn't stay in the sun anymore. Three, they were destroying the environment, polluting it, experimenting on themselves in abominable ways producing this, this, these uh, defective genetic offspring that you wouldn't even want to speak of. Um, a good example would be the abominations you saw in uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy, all those disgusting things that were created by Sauron, okay? Um, they dragged them across the deserts of Arabia. This is where the bitterness begins, their pale skin being scorched by the desert, and dumped them in the cooler less sunlight, less sunlike atmosphere of Europe. As to the north, you've got snow. To the south, you've got the mountain ranges. Um, to the west, you've got the Atlantic Ocean. And to the east, lo and behold, out of nowhere comes the Great Wall of China. Uh, you have to remember what comprised the Moorish legacy. It was known as the Amexum Empire. Now, the entire Amexum Empire went from Mongolia to South Africa, over to South America, and up through all of North America. They were known as the Asiatic nations, the Amexum Empire, the Moorish legacy, okay, the family of man. And then you've got this orphan over here called Europe that nobody wanted, okay? And of course, with the Great Wall of China, the academics tell you, oh, the wall was built to keep the barbaric hordes out, but no one ever bothers to ask who the hell the barbaric hordes were. The point is, it was built to keep them in, so they couldn't go anywhere, all right? And of course, in referencing the mountain ranges, there was one particular mountain range, you got the Sierra, the Nevada, the Caucasus. One particular mountain range called the Caucasus that a lot of them hung around. So this is how the term Caucasian becomes associated with the pale skin. It's not even a real term. Okay, it's like we're using the term Negro to describe black people. It just means black and that's why it was picked. It has nothing to do with genealogy. Caucasian is also a dumbass term. So um, this is how those ridiculous things come about. But what had happened was that um, they were casted out. They were embarrassed. They realized once they were dumped in Europe in this barren, dead wasteland that meant nothing to anyone in the family of man, they realized what they had done wrong. This is where you get the concept of like Adam and Eve feeling embarrassed and wanting to cover themselves, okay? Whereas before that, they ran around naked. But um, they, um, they were so embarrassed about what had happened, they went into this massive psychological denial about the whole thing and started inventing all sorts of other bullshit mythology, monkeys coming down from the tree, um, even to the idea of being born of a she-wolf, okay? This is what they were grasping at straws because they couldn't admit that they had been banished from the family of man, lost the color from their skin, and were no longer part of that family anymore. And this is the great sin they committed against themselves. This is why they were banished. 